Are you afraid to let go? I've brought myself out today because one of the things with being an entrepreneur and working from home especially is it can become quite isolating. And in order for your content to have a real punch, you know, and to be real, then you need to be out in the real world. So I brought myself over to my beloved Chatsworth here and I found a nice little quiet or quietish corner uh, to, uh, you know, to actually record this video today. Many people believe that letting go is the same as endorsing something, you know, because people think, oh, you're just ignoring the problem. Oh, you know, you, you don't care. You're really heartless and you should care about the thing that I care about, you know, and it's, it's like, okay, I can sort of see your point and I can understand, but, <laughs> but <laughs> there's not very really much empathy there, is there? And I'm hearing a lot of orders and a lot of demands. And funnily enough, I put uh, my short on YouTube yesterday was actually about um, uh, what you can learn from, from your relationships that can really help you in your life, you know. And it's stuff that sounds in itself kind of flowery, you know, the understanding and patience and empathy, these things. And somebody commented on the short saying, oh, you know, I bet this is one of those guys that's out at protests with a sign saying, saying refugees, welcome here. Um, and I said, <laughs> no, <laughs> most definitely not. Um, and that's how I responded to him. <laughs> and he came back a little while later yesterday saying, oh, you know, I was just joking, mate. And I said, oh, backing down so quickly, eh? you know, withdrawing your opinion so soon, you know. And the thing is, you see that, that people, people want to rouse reactions in you. And this is where it's really important to actually to stand strong and letting go is strong it requires courage and you don't have to struggle you know you don't really don't have to struggle your way through life you don't need to live your life in stress all the time you really really don't but most people do actually choose <laughs> to do that if you observe their behavior and forgetting what their motives are just look at people's behavior and see that most people don't want peace they don't want joy they don't want connection they want to be right and they want their belief their focus their opinion to be right and leave people to it you know don't don't get embroiled in arguments with people about trying to change their mind and trying to make them see your point of view. What life is about is going out there and you making as much positive change in the world as possible. And there are people on Twitter who say that self-improvement is this big fat lie and okay, fine, you know, whatever. But is not self-improvement learning how to live more peacefully more purposefully, more productively. Is that not a kind of self-improvement? What people mean is the industry thereof. But learn to let go of what you believe are mistakes. Everything has happened. You know, what is done is done and cannot be undone. We learn from our impulsive decisions. We learn from our own intolerance of people close and dear to us but here is the biggest fact of life that you need to know it's all past make your life present